Hold up, is Shelby Rogers married? We answer the burning question about Shelby Rogers' relationship status and dive into the career of this incredible tennis star. This video will explore her journey on the court, from her biggest wins to her current ranking. But tennis isn't all, we'll also discuss her estimated net worth in 2024. Is Shelby Rogers married? Tune in to find out. Shelby Rogers is an American professional tennis player. She has career-high WTA rankings of number 30 in singles and number 40 in doubles, and has won six singles and two doubles titles on the ITF women's circuit. She won the girls' national championship at 17. Born October 13, 1992, age 31 years, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, United States. Parents, Starley Gabrish. Height, 1.75 meters. Siblings, Sabra Rogers. Coach, Pyotr Sears-Potowski. Current ranking, number 369, June 10, 2024. Fed Cup, W, 2017, record 2-4. Two Shelby Rogers' net worth around $7 million. Personal life. From Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, Rogers followed her sister, Sabra, into tennis at the age of six. She was quickly identified by her coaches for her natural athletic ability and started competing on the national stage by the age of 11. Homeschooled during high school, Rogers was able to focus on her tennis and quickly started receiving scholarship offers from the top schools in the U.S. In 2009, she decided to forego college and become a professional tennis player. On August 15, 2021, Rogers was awarded with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology from Indiana University East in a ceremony at the Western Southern Open, WSO, tournament. Rogers is a Christian. On December 2, 2023, she married John Slavic. Professional career. 2009-15, early years, first WTA Tour tournament final. Rogers made her ITF Women's Circuit debut at the $10,000 event in St. Joseph in July 2009. At the 2010 Charleston Open, she had a chance to reach her first WTA Tour main draw, but she failed in qualifying. In May 2010, she reached her first ITF final at the $50,000 Indian Harbor Beach, but lost to Adina Galovitz Hall. Later that year, she won the USTA 18th Girls National Championship to earn a wild card into the US Open, that was her first appearance in the main draw of any Grand Slam tournament. She lost to Peng Shui in the first round in three sets. In July 2012, she won her first ITF title at the $50,000 Yakima Challenger, defeating Samantha Crawford in the final. At the 2013 Internationaux de Strasbourg, she recorded her first win on the WTA Tour, defeating Marta Domachowska in the first round. She then earned another Grand Slam main draw wild card at the 2013 French Open, after winning the Hartree USTA Pro Circuit Wild Card Challenge. With the wild card, she won her first career Grand Slam match, over Irina Pavlovich. She then lost in the following round to the world number 20, Carla Suarez Navarro. After that, she won titles at the $50,000 Lexington Challenger, and later at the $75,000 Albuquerque Championships. The following year, she reached her first WTA final at the 2014 Gostai Ladies, where she lost to Andrea Petkovic. There she also defeated two top 20 players, Carla Suarez Navarro and Sarah Arani. Soon after that, she scored her first career top 10 win after beating Eugenie Bouchard in the second round of the Canadian Open. The following week, she debuted at the top 100. In September, she reached semi-final of the Tournoi de Quebec but then lost to Venus Williams. Despite not producing such good performances during the season of 2015, Rogers played in all four Grand Slam main draws for the first time in her career, and also reached her first Grand Slam third round at the U.S. Open.